Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. And, um, okay, this is uh, going to be part one of uh, making up the jig. I uh, bought all the steel today. Um, this is the uh, I beam that I'm using. Um, and you can see that <coughs> this is actually 240, 230 is the span on it, 2 meters 30, which is the door's 250. Um, and the reason I've got these little overhangs here is not to put a gasset in them, but to actually put a, a steel bar. This is just a mock-up, but there'll be a bar down the side of it, which will fit something like this, if you can imagine. This is just mocked up. This is not the right tube. It's the tolerance is too much. But basically, a tube will be welded to the side of the, the frame, and then as you winch it up, this will be guided as it goes up like that to extend it with the bar going into the into the box section, the main square. <coughs> and that's how they're going to look side on. Uh, I just basically knocked it up. These are from uh, uh, racking shelves and they have a really, really high tensile strength uh, down the way. They're made of, um, I think it's four thicknesses of steel on the top and the bottom. So they're made to take the load down the way or, or that way whatever uh, we used to have them in all our chemical sheds when I worked for uh, Slumberger the night this uh, service oil service company um, they don't have an awful lot of strength sideways on but they certainly do down the way they can take tons and tons and I'm not talking about a ton um, and then what I'll do is put these tubulars on the side and use my wheels from my scaffolding which I'll show you on the way through so that's basically how it's going to work so there'll be a pin in there which will extend the top piece, so you, it's sitting on the bottom in, internally and then it will come up and then you put a pin through there and it will be its maximum height. Because the height I've got to you, the maximum height I can get without taking it all apart is 2 metres and 8, which is right there, or 2 metres, so I'm going to 2.7, so it will go in through there and then it will raise up to 3 metres in the other side. So that's the way we're going to do it. Um, but basically I've got all the metal I need. I just need to cut out everything, get it all fabricated up tomorrow. Um, and as I say, I've got the wheels already. What I, what I am doing though, is also making this so I can use multi-purpose. When I'm not using the overhead crane or the gantry side of it, this piece, I can put that to one side and then I can use this. The wheels, remember, the, the, the rods will go in, in this way in the bottom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole in here and use those other two extra bits of tubing, two's for the other side obviously, and the other two will be cut in half and they'll go through here and be welded in so that I can put a wheel up this way. And then the idea is if you imagine two of these, like they are now flat on, take this, this will go underneath, you put them underneath obviously, and then you imagine a second one out here. So it basically be like two T pieces together but now the wheels are underneath it and I can use it as a dolly. I've made it exactly the right size so that it can come out of that door. So when I'm not using it as the overhead gantry, I'll use it as the uh, as a dolly for putting the either the chassis or the bodies or whatever on because I've got the wheels and everything anyway. So I can kind of double purpose use it. <coughs> so I'll start welding all this up tomorrow, but this is basically how it's going to work. Um, as you can see, I've got a hole. Oh, there's my uh, retro restore mug from uh, from Martin. Um, okay, so just to show you what, what we're up to here, I didn't forgot to show you this just there on the mini. Uh, oh, it took a while to get all this stuff worked out. I had to do it. So you can see here, I've done all the put all the all the. Uh, sound and heat proofing in there and this is the eastwood stuff i was talking to you about and you can see how nicely that dish is in all the grommets are in now i won't put anything up the back here because <clears throat> you definitely don't want to put anything up behind the heater because the carpet makes it tight enough to get them onto these hooks as it is so if you put anything else on there you're gonna have a lot of a lot of problems and as you see i put the pedals in already um because obviously i had to put in the balance. The balance that I've got, I'm going to bring a new one, but uh, I'll put this in just as a, <coughs> put this balance in just to uh, to get this uh, um, brake line right. Um, it's very strange because without the servo, it's more here, the brake balance. But they, I think they did them like this because of the big servo unit on the other cars, on which, which ones had servo and which had uh, twin 
systems and so on. So anyway, and as I said, you can see it's all uh, it's all looking quite nice in there. It, it, this stuff forms really quite well. I'm quite pleased with it. And as I say, you've got your the Eastwood stuff in there. You know, so that's really it for today. So tomorrow I'll crack on with this uh, part two and get all the welding done and uh, and really kind of go from there. And I've got to the Max coming over tomorrow. This is my this is a friend of mine that's a, the guy with all the minis, you know, with the 50 odd minis. And he's coming over tomorrow to take away the SPI stuff, the, the wiring looms and ECUs and all that kind of stuff. And then see what I need to put this back into a carburetor version. All right, I'm going to use an inch and three quarter SU. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So, I'll do uh, actually getting all the steel and all the rest of it was kind of most, most of the job today and, and getting it cut out. Now I'm going to design it and I'll try to make it so it fits every just about every occasion. And you can see here, I got this from my local scrapyard. Fortunately, it's a guy who owns it, a huge place guy that owns it's a neighbor <laughs> but he doesn't give me I mean he gives me a good deal anyway now this is as you can see it's brand new material all of it it's brand spanking new and you can see how much there is I mean that I-beam alone must be you know quite a bit but uh, all that steel there has cost me I went down twice actually so what did I pay I paid 30 euro there and oh, 35 so 65 euro about 60 quid for the lot which is not bad Oh, I forgot to show you the wheels. And uh, the wheels I'm going to use are underneath this chassis at the moment. So I've had to take into consideration the height of them. And the reason I'm using these is not only because I, you can see they're here, they're scaffolding wheels. But you can actually alter them so you can take them up or down, which is great news. So they'll be going on. And because I had to use this kind of made up thing at the bottom here, and it's not very good. And that's why I want to use it for both, for a gantry and, and a dolly. Um, and it should have enough height to get these cars off. I think it should it should sit just where that red thing is at the moment. So I think we'll have no problem getting them off on and off. And we can just back the trailer in and take them off. And if that isn't the case, uh, I've made it so it fits right over the trailer. It's there's a few centimeters to spare inches, uh, but I've made it so it'll go over there. And uh, the heaviest part will obviously be these. But they're not that heavy that we can't uh, put them down on my little mini trailer and and do it. Oh, and that's the this this shelving stuff is what I got from this guy with the alpaca farm and and this as well. It's an old plow. I'm just going to tidy. I don't know how old it is. I mean, it's it's a bit rotten to be honest, but but it's <laughs> I just love this old stuff. And you can see that's obviously where the horses went on to it. It's still we'll put it in the garden as a you know. But you can see it's an old thing. And that's some kind of yoke that went with it. I don't know quite what that is. I think it was attached in some way to pull the horses to pull it. Anyway, so thanks for watching in and I'll do another update tomorrow. So this will be part one of making the gantry, portable gantry, and part two tomorrow. So uh, take care and thanks for now. Bye. Take care. Bye.